Hey YouTube, um, it's Charles Zach, and if you've been watching my past videos, you may have noticed that I've been playing Zelda on my computer. And for those who do not know what that is, it's called an emulator. And what those do is they let you play games from a different console on your computer. It's awesome. Um, today I'm, I'm going to be showing you how to get Dolphin, which is the emulator that I use. And yeah. And maybe I'll teach you how to install some ROMs. <clears throat> so first, you want to go to this website, Dolphin, and go to Downloads. Uh, of course, I'll put the link in the description. And um, if you're on Mac, you would get the Mac one. And if you're on Windows, you get the Windows one. But since we're on Mac, you would get this one, the top one. Um, this is for Lion, and if you are like Snow Leopard like me, you'd get this one. It works fine. I don't, I don't think there's really a difference. But yeah, you download this, and I'll, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and download it. And it's going to... For me, it doesn't really it doesn't download me, um, automatically, so I have to click this. And yeah. And don't worry, this thing is virus-free. Um, if you don't think that Max can get viruses, then... Yeah. But if you do, then I... Just make sure I scanned it with this program called Bitfinder. And it said virus-free. So we're pretty good on that part. It takes like five seconds to download, and then, yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, open it. It's good, yeah. I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, eject this. But um, you would drag this into your applications folder, like that. So, yeah. Once you have that open, um. Wow, I spelled dolphin wrong. You can open it, and it will look like this, minus all these ROMs right here. These are my games I have installed right now. So yeah, when you first get on this, it will look blank. And um, what I suggest you when you ha when you get this is getting a game controller, because like controls for the keyboard, you can use a keyboard, but it's very complicated. I've tried it before, so I just recommend getting a gaming controller. Um, there's some Xbox controllers that like you can get drivers that will make it work, but that's too confusing. I've tried it and it d didn't really work out for me, so I just went ahead and bought one. It's like 25 bucks, not a Best Buy. Um, so in the next part, of course, you want to get these ROMs. So you go to this website. Um, this is like a really good website for getting ROMs. I haven't really tried it in any other websites c because this one has been perfect for me. They have it for like almost any console. Like they have yeah, the GameCube and here's this is what you're going to use if you want GameCube. Um Dolphin also works for Wii, but <laughs> good luck trying to use a keyboard to control a Wii. Like I think there's some adapters you can get like where you can use it for a Wii. So yeah, um once you're here, you could either like click on the top downloads or you could go to search so I'm just going to head and download Wind Waker. I already have it on here, but yeah. So you just going to scroll down and yeah. Look for direct download right here. Click, click it. And then you'll have to click it again. And then it's going to download. It takes like an, an hour to download. So I already have it download. I'm just going to skip ahead, basically. And yeah so um, I would also recommend making a folder on your desktop like I see I have this thing called G GC games which is GameCube games where I put all my ROMs in there so here we go wait is this it yeah so it will once you download it it will look like this a LeBrar it go in your downloads so you want to go ahead and click oh yeah I forgot to say You'll have to download the Unarchiver. You can get it in the App Store for free. You'll just have to log into your Apple ID. So, yeah, if you have the Unarchiver, it will look like this once you download it. Otherwise, you can't open it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and extract it by double clicking it. Wow, I'm surprised I actually keep kept the RAR. Normally, I delete these. So yeah, it will take a minute to download. I'm just gonna wait a bit.
Okay, so while this is loading, I'm going to head, like, if you have a gamepad, like, um, that's what they're called, these things, you want to go into this, um, you click on GC pad, and then you open this window, and then this is where you can, like, make pads. See, um, GameCube supports up to four players, so if you have multiple game pads, you can do, like, if you have, like, a four-player game, you can do, like, two controllers, I guess, but... That costs a lot of money to get two different controllers. So once you have this, you just um, click on each button and click on it correspond. Click on the corresponding button on your remote. So like, see, it says A for A. I would put click A on my remote, and A B X Y so on and so forth. So you're just programming. You're basically assigning keys to your controller instead of your keyboard. This also works on the keyboard, but you just click on this tab and whichever one you want to use. So yeah, now that this is unrard, I'm going to go. Uh, click on that. Um, I'm going to click on this, open it, and it will. Um, this is where it kind of gets weird. Like sometimes it's um, dolphin. Sometimes it's it's weird because sometimes it lets you um, go on the game without unrarring these. So you can just go click on this, browse, go to your desktop, click on it. Sometimes it lets you do it. Let's see if it let me. No. Um, well, you can just open it like this and play it. See, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But if you want to have... Oh, nope. Never mind. Yeah, this game is one of the games where you can't open it unless you unraw it. So go ahead and click on this. And um, unselect all the ones that are not raw files. And then just um, extract them by clicking on it. And this will compress into one, like... Uh, dot dm not dmg i think um i'm not really sure but let me just pause this until it's done loading okay so it's almost done recording uh, i mean <laughs> it's almost done un um extracting and see then i'll make this one file oh yeah it's dot iso um i don't why is it still extracting oh I'm not sure what that does i think it's just making a second one but i don't know if you need to let that keep going. So now I'm going to go to browse, go to your desktop, click on this, open, and see, I now have two Wind Wakers. Um, so yeah, that's basically all, that's all you do. And so, yeah, that's the end of this video. If you need any help with anything, just comment in the, the comments area of the YouTube page. I'll be happy to help you. And please, if this was any help at all, subscribe because that will help me get my videos out there. And it will alert you whenever I have a new video coming up. Um, so, yeah. Toodaloo!